Hey everyone, what's going on? Mark here from TST Industries, back in the garage with another installation video. Today I will be installing our 2-pin LED flasher relay Gen 2 on our beautiful 2021 Honda CRF 300L. I should mention this is a North American model as we are in North America. This is only designed and verified on North American models, so if you're an international customer or you're watching this from another country, check your relay before you make a purchase. All of our products are designed and intended to fit and function on North American models. For more information, check out the product pages or reach out to us. We'll try and help out as much as possible. Now, this is a pretty straightforward installation process. You only need a five and a six millimeter hex key or Allen key. This relay is completely plug and play. Only one relay is needed for your entire motorcycle and this will correct and control your entire signal circuit. If you plan on switching to LED signals, this will be extremely valuable. As you can see, we have switched to LED signals and we're facing an issue where they flash very, very fast. So this relay will correct and control the signal rate, slow it down to the OEM 85 cycles per minute. And it's also adjustable. So if you like that flash rate or you wanna slow it down even more, this is adjustable. Without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right in and get this installed. So I should mention there is a installation method that allows you to uh, refrain from removing your seat. We're gonna show you the removal of your seat along with the removal of this panel. However, if you don't want to do that, it's not completely necessary. The relay is located right here. And once I remove this panel, you'll be able to see it. But if you feel comfortable, this is just a friction fastener behind here, holding this in place. And if you remove that five millimeter bolt located on the lower portion of this fairing, you can actually gain full access to this battery and side compartment, allowing you to remove the relay and replace it with ours. But here at TST, we like to show you the proper and suggested way of doing it. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab my six millimeter hex key or Allen key, and we're gonna remove the two posts. These are the forward most posts located towards the rear of the uh, seat. And we're just gonna remove them. These are the only thing locking the seat in place. And when you're removing them, just be careful. There is a small shoulder washer that can very easily get lost. Keep that on the bolt. Come to the other side, follow the same step. All right. And with those two bolts removed, you can put the six millimeter tool to the side. At this point, you're gonna lift up on the rear of the seat and then pull back. That'll disengage the sliding pin on the front and give you full access to underneath the rider seat. Now, with that removed, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and grab your five millimeter tool and remove this lower bolt. Once that's removed, there's one last bolt that needs to be removed and it's not a bolt, it is a push pin fastener. And if we know anything about those, you wanna grab a small tool and apply light pressure to it pushing it down in the center and then removing it. This is a pretty small uh, piece of hardware, very easy to lose. And the way it works, now that it's off the bike, I can show you. That is it locked, unlocked. You're gonna push it gently. That disengages the locking pins, allow you, allowing you to remove it. So with all that removed, we can actually pull gently on the rear of this lower fairing piece and that'll come right off. As you can see, the relay is located towards the rear of this section of the relay. I believe this is the starter relay, and then you have the battery. We're gonna focus on the rear LED flasher relay. It is a black relay with a Mitsuba label on top of it. That is the, LED, the OEM mechanical relay that we need to remove. So we're gonna pull up gently on this, and you can see that it came right off of the post. There's a small rubber sleeve here that actually retains the relay onto this post, preventing it from flopping around inside your compartment. We're gonna pull that off, we're gonna reuse it. With the relay off of the post, you can actually see on here it says push, and essentially you're supposed to push down on that and the relay is supposed to uh, be removed from its locking feature. However, it's a little bit finicky. I'm finding that gently pulling on this boot, removing it from its retaining features and giving you access to the relay is a much easier way to go about this. So what we're gonna do is you can grab a small tool. If your fingers aren't small enough, you're gonna push gently on the relay securing post and then 
push down. That'll disengage it from its locking tab. And as you can see, the relay is removed and we have the OEM piece here. Now it's important to note, the OEM relay has three pins. Our TST two pin LED flash relay only has two pins. The third pin on the OEM relay is a redundant ground. Because we're switching to an electronic relay, we won't need that third pin. We won't need that ground, but the relay still fits and functions as intended. So don't be alarmed by that. Now, with our relay in our hand and the OEM one tossed to the side for now, we can go ahead and install it. You will hear an audible click. That's good. At this point, before we move any further, I do want to check the system. Turn the bike on and you can see that it has slowed down that signal rate quite a bit. It is normal at the first half a second or full second for the signals to flash quickly or slowly and then they'll regulate. It is an electronic relay. There is a capacitor inside that does need to charge up. So don't be alarmed by that. Now that we know it works, we can begin the reinstallation process of all the pieces before we do that. Earlier during the removal process, we did, we did remove this rubber sleeve from the post that was holding the OEM relay in place. We want to slip this back on to this fastening piece on our TST relay. To do so, I'm going to slide a small tool underneath this tab, and then we're going to carefully insert this into one of the slots and then remove our tool. Just finish sliding it all the way over. And now you can take the OEM dust boot, slip it over our relay, make sure it's seated properly and fully. And now you can take this and slip it onto the OEM post that was locking the relay in place. Now we can begin the reinstallation process of this lower tail section piece. And you can see there's a sliding tab feature right there. And then we have a push pin here and a push uh, two friction fasteners here and then the push pin up top. So just keep that in mind as you're installing these pieces, how they fasten and function. This is a tool, in my opinion, that a lot of people learn over the years of working on motorcycles. And there's only so many types of fasteners you'll find on motorcycles. Once you know how to work with the few main ones, you're kind of good forever. Now earlier during the removal process, we did go ahead and remove the push pin from up top. In order to reuse it, what you're going to want to do is push on the interface of this push pin fastener. It is going to seat this completely flush on here. You want to go a step further and actually have it protruding out. Then you want to insert it into its retaining location. Make sure it sits flush and then push on it, making it completely flush. That locks that piece in place. Next up, you want to go ahead and grab the bolt that you removed from the lower portion on the fairing. Grab your five millimeter tool, gently begin threading it in place, making sure you're not cross threading. Once you bottom it out, give it another eighth of a turn. Good enough for government work. And lastly, we're going to go ahead and reinstall the OEM seat. Now this seems like a pretty straightforward job. However, there's a few things to note. You have this sliding feature, which interfaces with this post, this T post on the front of the tank, on the rear of the tank, I should say. You need that post to sit and then slide down while also making sure these rear tabs sit in between the frame and the tail section. Please keep that in mind as you're doing this reinstallation process. We're going to start with the front. In my opinion, that's the easiest. And you can pull on this. You can see there is no wiggle room just on the foam, but not on the piece. And taking a look at the rear section, you can actually see that these posts are sandwiched between the tail section and the subframe. We're going to grab one of the bolts along with the shoulder washer and our six millimeter tool. Begin slowly threading it, making sure you're not cross threading. And then as you tighten it down, you're going to want to make sure that the shoulder washer that we removed earlier, along with the bolt actually sits in between the tail plastics and the post on the seat. It's supposed to bottom out. It's very easy for it to get caught up on something and you don't want that to happen because then you have threads that aren't being engaged and it's not bottomed out fully. 
So if you need to, you can wiggle these pieces around a little bit, make sure they are sitting as intended. And you'll notice that you can actually go a little bit further sometimes. In this case, I got it right on the first time, so we're good to go. Let's copy that on the other side, and this installation will be complete. All right, and with that secured, we can now clean up our work area, put our tools away, toss the OEM relay to the side, whether it's something you wanna keep for future or you wanna throw it away, either way, push it to the side for now, you're all done. Before we call this a day, just double check our work again, make sure, and as you saw briefly, the signal flashed a little quick for about half a second, a full second, and now it's back to its normal rate. That happens when the bike is turned off and turned back on, but you can see, because I left the bike on, the relay is working fully. It doesn't have to charge up its capacitor, as I mentioned earlier. So be sure to stop by our website, tstindustries.com. You can find this, this relay, along with all the other products we have for this bike and many others, directly on our website. We ship all over the world. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave them in the comment field below. Don't forget to check us out on social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Hit that subscribe button. If you haven't already, turn those notification bells on. This has been Mark from TST Industries. We'll catch you guys next time.